Hi, my name is Christian Schoenheff, and today I will be discussing energy for muscle contractions using Screencast-O-Matic. ATP is the most direct source of energy for a muscle contraction. It has three phosphate bonds. The third is the highest energy one, and during a contraction, the third phosphate is popped off to phosphorylate the muscle fibers. As ATP become ADP, they need to quickly return to ADP to continue working. This is done by using creatine phosphate. Creatine phosphate interacts with ADP, and the phosphate from the creatine phosphate bonds to the ADP and makes another high energy ATP. Glucose is then the next step of molecules to be considered whenever making energy for muscles. Glucose can be made into ATP either through anaerobic processes or aerobic processes, depending on the availability of oxygen. And glucose within the cell could also be depleted in theory. That is why muscle cells have their own glucagon. Glycogen stores in muscle cells can be depleted. However, there are many more glycogen than there are glucose. As you can see, glycogen are branch chains of glucose. And as glycogen is broken down, it becomes glucose and this specific example shows that glucose can enter anaerobic respiration then it becomes the pyruvic acid becomes lactic acid this lactic acid is released from the cell and is sent through the bloodstream to the liver to be made into glucose again to be used in respiration. These are all of my sources. Thank you very much.